What is going on guys? You guys join me here at Twin Falls, Idaho, and we are on the journey of taking home the brand new 2011 V10 Audi R8. We have come all the way from Salt Lake City, that's where we got the car, and we're making our way all the way across the country to Seattle. Well, it's like halfway across the country, but it's, it's still over various amounts of states. It is early morning, and so far, I have discovered a good amount of cons to this car and let me just show you guys first of which let's just try out here if I just press that button right there we have uh, this thing all right now let's see this is the tech bag and this might work okay it's hanging out a little bit. Let's try and see if that'll... Okay, sweet. Con number one is solved. Now, let's head inside. I'll show you what else we got here. Alrighty, so inside the car, obviously this is my iPhone. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a 10. And it obviously has this eight pin lightning cable as most iPhones nowadays do. And if you look in here, that is a 30 pin. That is an old school, definitely 2011 standard connector. So that doesn't work. So I can't connect my iPhone through that and I can't find an aux port anywhere. Either I'm really dumb as hell. I mean, if any Audi R8 owners are watching this, if you guys have solutions, but I can't find an aux port anywhere in here, which would help, but I do have cigarette lighter so what I went out and bought is I tried this cigarette lighter connected to FM radio thing and basically it plays music from my phone through my car's radio so that's connected in there but it's definitely a little bit staticky and it sounds like radio music and not direct connected music where it's all HD and whatnot and then above all else we have something that's pretty major that I'm gonna test out now and see if it's gonna start working but it stopped working in the middle of the drive up to Idaho and that was the air conditioning when we got it it worked for at least like a good 30 to 40 minutes and then after a stop I started it back up and it just stopped working and it was only blowing hot air so I have a bad feeling that it's gonna still be blowing hot air. It's nice and cool out right now, but it will get up to 100 degrees in this area. So, let's see. Nice little cold start. So it's set to the coolest it can be. And I'll just turn them up a little bit. But yeah, this is, it's not blowing hot air right now because it's not really hot outside. It's only like 74, but it's definitely blowing what I'd say is around 70 or 74 degrees. It should be literally set on the coldest. It should be like ice cold right now coming out. That's what it felt like before and it is not anymore. So, I am not sure exactly what that could mean. That could mean my AC compressor is already kind of had its time. Those things go out around 25,000 miles and it is kind of a pain to get those completely replaced on these cars. That is literally one of the one faults on the thing. So, we'll just have to see. We'll have to at least see what, it, what it's all like up in Seattle because over there it's not deadly hot. With that, I guess I got my Fruit Loops and we are gonna get on the road. Alrighty, so let me pop them sunglasses on. I think 
my solution for the music is I've done this before in my R32 when I didn't have any stereo and that is just AirPods. Obviously you don't want to be having them at max volume because you got to be able to hear what's going on on the road at times so that's safety but this is so far better than static radio sounds coming from my little thingy there so with that said yes I'm going to be that kid in an Audi R8 with his AirPods on. I, I don't mean the flex I'm very sorry, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. So we're here at the lovely Sinclair, which is basically like a Dynaco from Cars. And uh, we got the first gas fill up of the day. So the gas button is right there. That should open up my cap. Now, one thing I really love about this car is that the cap is consistent on the same side as all my other two cars. So I don't have to mentally prepare for figuring out. And yep, it popped open. Got that nice R8. I actually like how it stands out and it's not like blended in. Kind of adds a unique aspect to it. And then I'm just gonna plop that right into one of the vents. I feel like that's handy. So we're gonna obviously do some premium. So let's... going it definitely stands out out here in middle nowhere truck county Idaho choice because the car is just blowing warm air so if I keep it closed it's just gonna fill with warm air in here and I'm gonna be a bubble in my own sweat so I have to at least keep this although sadly the air outside is not any warmer whatsoever but luckily I did the Ford Focus RS hot car challenge and uh, I should be used to this 100 degrees inside should be nothing compared to 125 before but and luckily beyond that, these are nice leather seats um, and not like my suede ones in my RS where that if I sweat on them, I can just wipe it off in the long run and I'm not damaging the car. But we are driving through sunny Boise, Idaho right now and uh, it isn't fun. This is, this is very non-ideal. I just want to point out we are in traffic now too which only makes things worse because this car with the Artronic that is the one thing that the Artronic transmission cannot do very well and that's when it lurches around in traffic especially in first gear I just want to demonstrate this is first gear yeah it definitely it's easy for 
for you to just lurch forward when it's when it's coming back. But it goes great. <laughs> Hopefully we can be on our way after that. Now we just passed that accident. On the bright side, beyond that, I do see dark clouds. And I never would have guessed in my life that dark clouds ahead would be a good thing. But if it starts raining, then hallelujah, let's get it. Holy cow, two accidents within the same stop so I could go pee and fill up some more water here oh just look at this thing it's so red I love it Bruh. yes I can safely say there is raindrops that are on the car finally it is now finally raining and holy cow it is coming down all of a sudden I really got to be aware of the road Tires are all seasons on this thing though, it should be pretty set and firm. And it's all-wheel drive car, so I don't think there's any loss of control that's going to be happening here. But it's giving the car a nice little clean through from all the bugs and stuff on the front, which I really like. And it's now cool, cool air. No more torture. All right, we have made it to our stop for the day. We are at the Holiday Inn Express, and we've made it to, we're up in Oregon now. We have one more final trek home, one stop before we make it all the way home in the car, but I figured for video's sake, park it right up in front in the valet lot, just for the shot, you know? It got a little wash from the rain. The rain washed all the bugs off the front. However, it got the rest of it all dirty. All this stuff, all dirty which it used to be completely clean, but that's all right. When we get home, we'll do a full clean through, a full detail. But yeah, this thing, the car is literally perfect for road trips, except for the air conditioning. And luckily it's a lot cooler here in Oregon. It's like only 80s, and I say only. <laughs> Up in Seattle, that's hot. Anyways, we are just gonna finish off the night. I'm probably gonna park it off in a far corner over there. Welcome to day two, and we are gonna finish the long haul and make it all the way back to Seattle. We only have pretty much four hours to go from here, so it can only cool down from Oregon all the way up north to Seattle. Got the car parked up in the corner. Someone decided to squat up next to me in their Ford F-150, but it's all right. And pretty much onwards from Oregon Holiday Inn we go. Day two on the road. It's not gonna get old. Don't worry, I let it warm up a good amount of time beforehand. I think having the Artronic is just perfect for me because each car that I get, I try and complete myself with all the areas that I never had and I always wanted. So like, when I had the Focus RS, the Nissan GTR came in and it completed me by not only having, I 
wanted like more of a raw tuner car as well as a JDM car, a car that was right hand drive. I also wanted to be a part of the GTR family because I started, started loving Nissan GTRs and uh, a darker colored car, more metallic color than white. You know, it just kind of completed me in all these different ways. And that's exactly what this car does is I wanted to join the Euro family. I wanted to have a mid engine car to really feel like I'm in a supercar. And then I also wanted uh, paddles. I, I love I love getting a kick out of driving my friend's cars when they're not manual because since both my cars are manuals, uh, the paddles are fun to me. Also just having a naturally aspirated V10 and having 500 horsepower is amazing. It's crazy to me. So this car really just checks all the boxes. So we are now hopping on the bridge that is crossing over into Washington State. That is the river separating us. And there is a sign, my home state. Hey, Rep, made really good progress so far. We now actually have trees. As you can see in the background, we've entered Evergreen territory. It is nice, it's definitely cooled down. We're at 79 degrees, which is way better. I'm able to at least have the windows up. This looks more like home. Cloudy skies and green trees all around. This is, this is definitely, we're getting there. Alrighty, so we have made it back home. Now the funny thing is, is walking up, we gotta get that R8 over there into the garage, cause that's gonna be its new home. It's gonna take over where the Skyline is. The Skyline has a separate storage place that I'll be able to keep this and keeping it indoors, but immediately realizing that that car is gonna have to come all the way in here. We have some maneuvering to do, and it's just crazy to look and realize that there's three, three freaking toys now. I mean, oh my God. And the best part is that they are all the three main channel colors that I've kind of built up over time. Obviously red was one, white always highlighted it, and then I always had some sort of dark theme going on. So therefore the gray, white, and red, I literally have my channel theme color, and it was not, it's like sort of intentional, but not intentional at the same time. It's like, those are the colors I obviously like, but at the same time, I never would've thought it would've come together like this. So, I mean, this is absolutely mad now, looking at it, seeing that there's literally three toys, we gotta move them all out of the way. I mean, I'm, I, it's, the collection is starting, guys. I'm telling you, it's starting. It has been a crazy drive and we've made it. You guys may or may not know what it is. Luckily, it's a good surprise.